So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I think uh, we are ready to start this live coverage. I'm just waiting uh, for some final tests to see that everything is uh, working just great. Just let me see. I'm not sure how the weather is. It was clear, but uh, let me say that the situation is uh, changing. So there is a chance, a serious chance that I will have to shut down everything in a few minutes. So I think that uh, we can uh, at least try to start. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to put my headphone uh, Away. So, good evening to all. Gianluca Masi speaking from Virtual Telescope Project. I'm so happy that we are here today just uh, to track, hopefully, to see if we can track the, uh, the comet we have been uh, already observing. So, let me see. Okay, well, the weather is not as good as I wanted. So I just was introducing this event. As you know, last night we already uh, shared live the uh, images of uh, the record-making comet P-2016 BA-14 Pan Starts and that comet has just uh, touched its uh, minimum distance from the Earth earlier today, becoming the third comet ever as for its minimum distance. At Virtual Telescope last night we had uh, such a truly wonderful, very nice uh, experience and we wanted to give you another chance tonight but the weather here is not the best I could imagine. As you can see here clouds are just arriving uh, from the right and the right here is south and uh, I, I'm not sure that we will be able to actually see the object. I was able to capture a few images earlier, just minutes before starting, but not sure how the weather will evolve. Anyway, I will try to stay here for 30 minutes or so, tracking uh, this, uh, in, uh, this situation in real time with you. Anyway, uh, meanwhile, I just want to remind you that the Virtual Telescope project uh, has started operations 10 years ago and uh, since uh, since uh, that uh, very far day now we uh, love to share the wonders of the universe in real time especially those rare events as uh, the flyby the p slash 2016 ba 14 path starts flyby with the earth actually uh, this has already happened a few hours ago. It was just in the Italian afternoon, so it was not possible for us to share images <laughs> during the day. Uh, by the way, the Wistol telescope is uh, located in Italy. Right now I am in Rome, while my observatory, my robotic telescopes are about 100 kilometers south from Rome, under much better skies than the one I will have here in the city. And uh, a lot of you are just uh, connected, I see. Wow, really, really huge numbers. So happy that so many people are here. And uh, I really hope that uh, we will see something about this. Just want to remind you that uh, this small object, the comet pan starts we are tracking, is uh, likely a fragment of another comet which had uh, yesterday its uh, flyby with the Earth a bit more distant but still something uh, interesting and uh, the parent comet is uh, comet to uh, 252 p uh, linear and the one we hopefully will see tonight was already observed with the, such a huge uh, success yesterday and i want to show you an image from yesterday by the way here it is you can see from uh, this image that uh, the object was pretty well visible. You can see it as a dot of light there. Let me say that uh, working on some images I collected uh, earlier, I was able to spot some uh, very faint uh, cometary evidence because looking uh, at this at the first sight, you can see you have just a point-like source. It looks like an asteroid. And let me say that when this comet, very small one, this cometary fragment was discovered early this year, 22 of January, by the way, my birthday. Uh, it uh, appeared like an asteroid and uh, ends the designation 2016 BA-14, a typical designation 
for asteroids, you know. But later on, powerful telescopes were able to spy and spot a very faint, uh, a fuzzy shape, I mean, uh, an evidence of a coma, and this is why we call it a comet. And the most interesting uh, thing is that the orbit along which this object is moving is uh, very similar to the, to the parent cometary, uh, comet ob orbit. I mean, so this is strongly suggesting there is some relationship between those two hazy worlds. I'm not sure if we will succeed today because, as you can see, the situation here is getting worse and worse. Still not very critical, but I must say that I should be able, I should be ready to uh, switch the telescope in the safety position. Just to give you an idea about what is happening, let me improve here. So, okay, I'm just trying to see if I fixed the problem I had earlier. Okay, let me see if at least the system is working. So I think that uh, the, we fixed the, the problem, but still the weather is not good. So let me start this again and hopefully this will be good for us. 
well, I actually tried to see if there was any chance for us to to look something good, but uh, as far as I can see, weather is not uh, that good. Anyway, just give me... Okay. So let me start this again. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Gianluca Masi speaking from Virtual Telescope Project. I'm sorry for the little delay, but we had an uh, internet issue. But basically, we are having right now a weather issue at the remote observing site. Anyway, we are here, hopefully, to track uh, the record-making comet P-2016 BA-14 Pan Stars, which had earlier today its historic flyby with the Earth, becoming the third comet ever for its minimum distance from us. Well, yesterday we already had a live session, everything uh, was great last night, we really had tens of thousands of viewers for, from all around the globe, and today we just wanted to try again to uh, show you something. I le let me see if uh, I can uh, uh, actually start this live coverage, let me see how the weather is looking at the remote site. I will wake up the telescope, just um, want to be sure that I can do this without troubles with the weather. It is a very crazy season here in Italy, where the system is uh, actually placed. So let me see if I can uh, start this right away. Let me ask the telescope to wake up. And see. Let me unpark the system first of all. And then let me wake it. Wait, let's, uh, let's wake the telescope. Okay, hopefully everything is starting at the remote site. Not sure how the weather will be. But as I said, this object captured our interest as soon as it was clear that uh, it was likely a fragment or another small comet, comet 252P uh, linear. And uh, the one we are going to track, the Panstar 1, is a very small uh, object about 100 meters in diameter you know and it was discovered last january 22 of january my birthday actually as i said and it was at the beginning showing a, a truly stellar shape as you may remember from tonight, from last night this is why it received the typical asteroidal designation 2016 ba14 but later on other telescope uh, other telescopes, powerful, uh, more powerful telescopes were able to show a faint uh, cometary signature, just uh, suggesting it was indeed an icy word, a comet, you know, and this is why we call it comet. And looking at the orbits, astronomers were able to conclude that it was very similar to the parent, to, uh, to the one of the comet we call now its parent, the linear one, the, the periodic comet number 2 152 and uh, last night as i said we were truly truly uh, lucky i want to see if uh, i can actually show you again the image we had from uh, last night this is not the one i wanted to show so i need to locate uh, this one i hope that uh, it will be nice to see at least uh, how the comet looked last night when uh, truly a lot of people could track this live with us. So now I want to show you how the weather is looking at the remote observing site. You can see that we have less clouds now, so at least let me try to see if the telescope can go there. And uh, I'm just asking the telescope to go. Let me see, because I actually stopped the telescope in a, an unusual way. Let me see at least uh, if... Uh, we are properly aligned, otherwise I will do this right away. If we see at least something. Okay, I see we are basically there. So let me ask the system to go to visit the comet. And uh, at that point, I will ask the telescope to take images back to back. 
I also use, will use a very special feature here. Just making sure that we can track this object at uh, its best. So right now I ideally started taking images. As I said, the object we are observing, Comet uh, 2016 BA14 Pan Stars has been discovered uh, two months ago and it looked stellar, that is, uh, as an apparent asteroid, hence the, the asteroidal designation. And soon after that, big telescope spotted a very faint uh, uh, signature of cometary activity. So we call it a comet and the orbit of this one uh, is very similar to the orbit of another comet, the comet uh, 252 uh, 252 uh, linear that we believe is uh, its parent and likely the one we are hopefully going to see uh, is just uh, a fragment of uh, the other comet. This one is very small, very faint, you really need a, a nice telescope to spot it. Also, uh, I must say that we already have the minimum uh, to fly by earlier today during uh, the Italian afternoon. This is why, of course, we could not cover the flyby itself because it was just in broad daylight here and there were also there, there were clouds here here it is we have some clouds friends but at least you can see there is uh, an object there dot of light while all around uh, there are trailing stars because the telescope is just tracking the fast apparent motion of this object Right now, this object is at about 3.5 million so kilometers from uh, our planet. And uh, of course, we already touched the minimum distance earlier today. So this event is also hosted as a partnership with the ANSA Scienza and Technica and uh, I also want to acknowledge the technological partners of the Virtual Telescope Project. They are Unitron Italian Instruments, Software BISC, Bader Planetarium, Santa Barbara Instruments Group and Plane Wave Instruments. So let's hope that uh, we will be able to see at least something for the record. Not easy at all because uh, we, are, we are really uh, affected by clouds. Look here. But with some luck, at some point, I believe we will just capture something in the right place of the sky. So Virtual Telescope is hosting this uh, truly rich, I must say, event. A lot of people is actually connected, I see, so happy that uh, everything is running. But at least the technology is here, but... Uh, we really hope that also the object will be with us hopefully soon, friends. Hoping that at some point we will have uh, some uh, decent images. It should be just a question of uh, lucky but we are not lucky so far here it is the weather as you can see it is not the best weather you can uh, wish yourself before something historical like this for the record i captured a few images before starting between uh, I mean, among clouds, but uh, I hope that we will be back with something good soon, friends. This is the telescope, by the way, I'm using for this live coverage. Now back to the weather I mean let, even better let's be let's see if the new image will show something now nada at all at least let me see if I can show you 
where we are looking in the sky, you can see where the, this object is now among the stars. We are just uh, in uh, Lion constellation. You see where the yellow circle is showing is where our telescope is pointing. I'm trying to grab one minute long exposure, 60 seconds, and you see here there is a, a countdown, also visible as a, a running green line, and the countdown is obvious there. Let's see if something will show better now, friends. It will be great at least to see an image together. System is now downloading. Let's hope. Still nothing I see. Just uh, a few hints or starts. We have to invent a telescope, an optical telescope, able to look. Well, actually, I see the object. The object is the one inside the red circle, not the most apparent one on the upper left, but just the little one you can see here in, inside the red circle. Let's see if the next update will improve the visibility here. I also, I believe that we will have uh, some chances Always, uh, it's uh, the the hard life of astronomers. Now better, okay. At least you have now the object, friends. So our dedication has been awarded with a, a to, after all, a decent image. You see, stars are trailing because the telescope is tracking the fast apparent motion of the target. This is why the target is showing inside the red circle, the crosshair. As a, sh as a sharp dot of light. Let's hope that uh, we will have some more good images like this, at least, or possibly better. Hope that uh, despite the, the weather you are having fun with us, You are having quite a number of people connected, I see. And I hope that uh, the comet being happy. Okay. Nothing as of now. So let's hope that at least we will have a few, a couple of minutes just to, to have a better image. <coughs> this is uh, the bedside of uh, real time uh, astronomical events when cloudy is cloudy for everyone. Let's hope that the new image will show something. With some luck, maybe. We already had some luck, but we want more. We should have something here, I believe. Okay, this one is after all not very bad. At least we have the object, friends. This one, the comet, this, this small pan star comet, as I said, is now at 3.5 millions of kilometers from us and leaving us while moving along its orbit because, as I said, the historic 
record flyby already happened a few hours ago in the European afternoon, my friends. And let's see if uh, the next uh, update will show possibly even a better site. We are just uh, looking what the weather is making possible for us to see. This is not bad. You can see, looking at the star trails, that they are fading in their left hand because of clouds, of course. They are not mere trails because you are just uh, handling uh, moving clouds during the 60 seconds exposure, you know. Even if in uh, such uh, uh, an annoying way, clouds are just showing us that we are running live, friends. Let me see. Our life this year so far for astronomy here in Italy. Oh, at least a truly nice image. This one is simply perfect, friends. I'm very happy that uh, at least we are having something good. All this happening thanks to uh, the advanced technology of the virtual telescope, because the telescope is uh, beautifully tracking the object. It is not easy because this one is moving pretty fast. And uh, let me see. Okay. We are not far from the minimum distance, actually. Let's hope that even the next... Uh, wow, here we have... Uh, we are completed uh, clouded out, but still there is an hint of the object there. And I hope that uh, this is worth your effort, your time. Here it is uh, always the weather. <laughs> Nothing good. I mean, not very bad, but we want something relaxing, you know. You have always to rush across clouds. This is not the best astronomical life you can have, for sure. We should see the, the comet there. Yes, always in the red circle in the cross sail. On the bottom uh, right uh, quarter of the inner cross sail, the inner circle. And hopefully now, let me change the file names, this is good for my future references. Let's see how the next image will look like and then I will start another sequence so that the file names will have uh, some meaning for me for my further studies tomorrow. But I don't want to, to waste this one 
just waiting for the exposure to end and the image to have the image displayed then I will try again to start the new sequence okay now much better because my goal here tomorrow just trying to collect all the best image I have is to underline the commentary aspect of this one by the way let me see if I can show you this in real time as well let me open my better software here let's see if uh, I have some uh, good uh, possibly images to see if uh, I can just show you something of uh, the commentary aspect this is uh, just a reduction real time okay I'm just trying to make some uh, some in some images I grabbed uh, earlier you see there are some good images some not, are not good at least want to see if we get a hint of the tail of the comma so let's me average I understand okay let's see if we are having something or not Let me just uh, cut this one then I crop this one just to have the a small portion of the image back to full let me see if by enhancing things here showing a black and white can help well I can easily see here with you evidence of uh, some uh, comma just let me rotate uh, the image so that uh, north is up and you can see here that uh, there is uh, some uh, hints of uh, a cometary uh, comma diffusion to our seven more or less and this is showing that uh, likely there is some uh, possibly some uh, evidence of a cometary activity this is a truly preliminary site not an easy detection because a lot of clouds are around but you know this is what we have now meanwhile let me see how observing uh, observations are going still unprepared by clouds but I hope that we will have some possibly good weather to, to address better this question
Let me see if uh, by properly adjusting here. Okay. I think this is uh, a bit better now. I see that you can easily recognize this is a comet because uh, there is a clear little trail on uh, at our 7 respect to the nucleus that is a very faint coma. We are, as I said, under extremely critical uh, conditions because uh, of uh, the clouds and so on, but uh, I'm confident that uh, other images can help us addressing this much better. I will have to carefully go through the best images I have so far, but now I'm back so that you can show, you can see the object we wanted to share live with you tonight. So after all, everything is uh, running fine, I believe. The object is uh, beautifully visible there. Not bad at all. We need really to collect uh, more and more images here. Without any interference, because not only clouds are not uh, your best friends, but also there is the full moon. And the full moon with clouds is a, a terrible combination because the full moon is making the background already very bright. And if you have the clouds, you have also a sort of veil. So making that veil extremely bright will kill you four times in, a, in, a, in a one time. So this is why this kind of observation is extremely, extremely difficult right now. But I'm confident with that with uh, just uh, getting enough images, we can uh, win just uh, as, as we did already, I must say, just uh, finding uh, evidence for such a cometary feature. Let me see if I can select better images. Sorry, let me close all those things here. Let me see if even the new image Okay I'm just trying to add uh, all the images I have of course many of them are useless I have to check all the images because uh, we have clouds, sometimes there are clouds, sometimes no. Oh, this is not uh, obvious because uh, some images are west meridian. At least let me see if I can just use all images east meridian. will do, of course, a much better analysis tomorrow. But just want to, I just wanted to see if I, care, if I could share this with you as a perfect uh, final benefit. Let's see if I can do something useful or not. This is not good. This can be good. Let's 
see how many images I can add. Okay. Okay, this is the best I could do so far. Let me take uh, a smaller region. I will just uh, do a crop of this. I want to flood the background because the moon is really giving us a lot of troubles. Let's rotate this one, so the north is up, east on the left. And let me see... Oh, I think that we are on a good uh, route. Let's use uh, the negative uh, palette here. Let me see if I can go... Well, I think that uh, we have some uh, commentary evidence here. As this is uh, like a uh, fun, you see. Adjusting manually. And yes, I think that we can easily see here that uh, this object is not uh, a mere dot of light because at hour 7, respect to the, the main brightest uh, nucleus, you can possibly see some very faint extension. All this in real time. This is too bad. So at least we have a hint. This is truly a comet, friends. This is uh, something interesting we did live together right now. Of course, I can do a much better processing later on. So, let's close this one. Back to the live coverage. And uh, soon we are approaching the end of this live coverage and the sky now looks uh, better still clouds here and there but at least we succeeded seeing this object as we promised so i'm just going to conclude this live uh, wonderful live event i will leave uh, the um, jpeg image on the website www.astrowebtv.org or sorry astrowebtv.org yes and from there you can even save a graphic image you can share on your facebook social media and so on crediting the virtual telescope please so after all we ended this uh, as a success and uh, i was happy that we tried uh, despite the cloud the, the problems we had with the weather and so on because at the at the very end we were lucky to see this small comet and luckily we also saw 
and hint of uh, cometary activity and I'm happy that we could do this live. So this is the last image. We are going to say goodbye to this comet, friends, and uh, we are back in Rome. So Gianluca Masi is just uh, thanking all of you for jumping into this live webcast. It was a pleasure for us to share this uh, comet uh, historic uh, approach live. This one, comet P slash 2016 B A14 Pan Stars, uh, reached the minimum distance from us of uh, about 3.5 million of kilometers earlier today, becoming this way the third comet ever in its minimum distance, the, clo the third closest comet ever in history, in the recorded history. A virtual telescope was able to show you live yesterday night and even tonight. So I'm proud that everything uh, went so good. I hope you had fun. Once again, I want to remind you that this event was hosted as a partnership with Anza Scienza and Technica and also the technological partners of the Virtual Telescope, Uniton Italian Instruments, Software Bisc, Badra Planetarium, Santa Barbara Instruments Group and Plane Wave Instruments. And I hope that you have found this uh, uh, experience nice and that you will want to support the Virtual Telescope because we are here just thanks to small donations we receive from time to time. If you have found this is a good project, please go to the www.virtualtelescope.iu website and just look for the donate option and support this huge effort because we really don't have any funding. All what you see here is just because of my personal love for the stars, my personal impressive economical effort and also to a few donors just supporting us to pay bills and so on. Thank you so much. I hope that you will uh, in the future you will join again our live events. We do a lot of things and keep an eye also on Facebook. We have the Virtual Telescope Project Fun page and from where you can learn a lot about our future activities. That's all. I hope you had fun. Stay, take care, and keep looking in the stars. Gianluca Masi, Virtual Telescope, says you goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Thank you for being with us.